In this video, I want to explain what the quant network is all about and what is the use case of the QNT token. And I first want to start off by explaining what the quant network is all about. And when it comes to the quant network, it's made up of two things, the Overledger OS and the Overledger network. And I first want to explain what the Overledger OS is. The Overledger OS is not a blockchain. It instead sits on top of multiple blockchains and allows for individuals and institutions to build multi-chain applications. And some of you may be wondering, what is a multi-chain application? A multi-chain application is an application that is built on top of multiple blockchains instead of just one. And an example of a multi-chain application is this. So let's say an individual or institution wants to build an application using the Overledger OS. They can, for example, build an application that takes advantage of the speed of the Stellar blockchain while at the same time taking advantage of the security of the Bitcoin blockchain. Hence the name multi-chain applications. There are multiple blockchains. With the Overledger OS, people don't have to be stuck building an application on just a singular blockchain. That is just how special the Overledger OS is. And the Overledger OS has amazing and beneficial qualities. For example, individuals and institutions can start using blockchain with just three lines of code. It's so simple. It's essentially a plug and play deal. And on top of that, they have choice, interoperability, flexibility, and not being locked in. They also avoid buying additional infrastructure. And also on top of that, the benefits include being able to comply to security and regulation and being able to use existing technical skills and resources. And this all can be started in less than eight minutes. I mean, this is absolutely mind blowing in my opinion. This is crazy. The Overledger OS is not only revolutionary, but it's also very simple to use. And keep in mind, when institutions want to adopt new technology, they don't want to adopt something that's very difficult to use, overly complicated. They don't want any of that whatsoever. When institutions want to adopt new technology, they want something that's easy, simple to use, and very practical. And the Overledger OS allows for that to happen. It's very easy to use, and it's also very amazing. And that right there is what the Overledger OS is all about. And now that you've all heard about the Overledger OS, I now want to talk about the Overledger network. And the Overledger network is made up of the Overledger OS users. And users of the Overledger OS on the Overledger network can share their data, their apps and resources and monetize them. That is what the quant network is all about. It's made up of the Overledger OS and the Overledger network. And now that you all have heard about the quant network, I now want to talk about the use case of the QNT token. I mean, if we take a look at this, the QNT token can be used in a myriad of ways. First of all, the QNT token can be used for enterprise licenses. QNT tokens must be provided to Quant Network in exchange for an annual income. Price of the access will be fixed in fiat and the number of tokens needed will vary depending on the price of QNT. Enterprise license fees will be determined on the basis of number of users, number of employees, application type, and volume of transactions. Number two, the QNT token can be used for developer licenses. Developers will be able to obtain an annual license to develop applications on Overledger through the purchase of QNT tokens equivalent to a fixed fiat amount. The developer wallet will be used to access the platform for the license period and as well as develop, sign, and publish applications. Number three, the QNT token can be used for platform fees. In addition to license fees, a platform fee calculated as a percentage of the license fee in QNT will be payable by all users and developers. Number four, the QNT token can be used for identity and account. A minimum QNT holding is put in place for every participant of the Overledger ecosystem. The wallet storing QNT is your identity, the private key is your password, and with the license fee, you are assigned a BPI key. Number five, the QNT token can be used for transaction processing. QNT tokens are used to validate, sign, and encrypt every transaction that flows through Overledger. Every enterprise client, developer, user, and application validates each transaction using their QNT linked to their ID and account. No transaction can flow through Overledger without being securely validated by QNT tokens. Number six, the QNT token can be used for application users. Users will need to hold QNT tokens to be able to run multi-chain applications. The license 
key will expire annually and must be renewed with more QNT tokens. Users will need to deposit an amount of QNT that will be used to pay to gateways for processing. Users also deposit QNT tokens to cover the cost of any penalties for raising any incorrect disputes. And last but not least, number seven, the QNT token can be used for gateways and staking. To run a gateway, there is an annual fee fixed in fiat to be paid in QNT tokens. Gateways earn QNT for transaction processing. Additionally, QNT tokens can be staked to increase the capacity of the gateway. The more the gateway operator stakes in the variable deposit, the more requests they can accept, resulting in more QNT earned. And wow, right, just imagine how much use cases the QNT token has. You know, there are many tokens out there that don't really have a good use case, but when it comes to QNT, I mean, the use case is just on top of it. I mean, it's on a whole nother level. And also when it comes to the supply of QNT, it actually has less of a supply than Bitcoin. I mean, just imagine that there's less QNT out there in the world than Bitcoin. QNT is more rare than Bitcoin. If you think about Bitcoin, what is the use case really? It's just a store of value for the most part. There's not much use case other than that. But when it comes to QNT, it actually has a very diversified and good use case. And if I had a choice between buying Bitcoin or QNT, I am hands down choosing QNT. There is no way I would ever buy Bitcoin over QNT. I am always going to choose QNT over Bitcoin. I think QNT is just a much better pick for me. And that right there is what Quant is all about. It's amazing, it's fantastic. And if you wanna know how much QNT do you potentially need in order to become a QNT millionaire, go ahead and check out this video. And these are all hypothetical millionaire scenarios. Just keep that in mind, but it's an amazing, fantastic, and wonderful video. And I think you all would love it. So go ahead and check it out.